Hi everyone, this is Athena from Courage Coaching. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you are new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button in order to get notifications for any new videos that I upload. Now, in this video, I would like to talk about five things that a narcissistic individual does that bring them enjoyment. Narcissists are known for having sadistic tendencies and they will do certain things to their victims because these things actually give them pleasure. Now, the first thing is that they enjoy gossiping behind their victim's back. They enjoy very much being in control of their victim. So going behind their back means that they can tarnish their victim's reputation. They can share their victim's secrets to others. They can undermine their victim to others. And this, of course, gives the narcissist the upper hand because they are presenting their victim in a certain way, in a very specific way, that makes them look better. Narcissists always need to be in control. They always need to have the upper hand. So if they can tarnish their victim's reputation, if they can make themselves look better, this is what they're going to do. And they actually get enjoyment out of this. This is a sadistic thing that they enjoy doing in order to make themselves feel good. The second sadistic thing a narcissist will do is that they will gaslight and confuse their victim to the point of changing that person's perception of themselves. So they will enjoy sending mixed signals. They will enjoy seeing their victim suffer or start feeling insecure. They will be entertained by the fact that their victim will start doubting themselves, will start feeling like they're not a good person. They enjoy destroying somebody's self-image. Now, what is the third thing a narcissist does that is um, enjoyable to them? Well, this is something that I have come across very much in my own healing journey, but also listening to my client's account of how their partner or their parent was treating them. They enjoy publicly shaming their victim. And this is something that I've noticed is much more common with the overt or grandiose type of narcissist. They enjoy making fun of somebody in front of an audience, in front of other people. So it might be that they all go out for dinner together. They start pointing out their victim's weaknesses, their victim's flaws. Um, they may start making jokes about their appearance or about certain ideas that they have or opinions they have. Narcissists like to be dominant. And by being the dominant one, they feel stronger. They feel better about themselves. And if their victim dares to complain and tell the narcissist that they don't find this behavior appropriate, that they want them to stop, they will then turn it around and say, I was only joking. Stop being so sensitive, you know, you can't even take a joke. So that is how the narcissist will approach this, but they will continue picking at their victim, ridiculing their victim, teasing their victim, because they feel good when they do this. They instantly get a feeling of superiority and they like feeling dominant. Another thing that a narcissist will do, especially one that does have many sadistic tendencies, is that they will enjoy it when they see their victim in pain. They will enjoy seeing somebody hurt or somebody unwell or somebody feeling emotionally unstable. They enjoy mocking other people's pain. This again reinforces um, their need for superiority. They enjoy having the upper hand when somebody is unwell because that way they can also manipulate this person in a better way. They can manipulate this person to meet their needs. Lastly, the other thing that they enjoy doing a lot is teasing you, making sarcastic comments, ridiculing your personal beliefs, bringing up any past mistakes that you've made, and constantly undermining your confidence and your self-esteem. They will nitpick at any little thing that you may have done that didn't go well in your life. If you have had a divorce or you have lost a job, they will bring that up and they will throw it in your face just to make you feel a little bit worse. 
Now, if you can relate to any of these, or if you have more you would like to add, then please feel free to share your experience in the comments below the video. I hope you found this topic useful. I'm sorry if you are also a victim of narcissistic abuse, but this is a very um, caring, supportive community. So please feel free to share your experiences and interact with other people on this channel because a lot of healing can happen with the interaction that goes on on any of the channels that are helping people heal from narcissistic abuse. Thank you so much for watching and for listening today, everyone, and I will see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.